Okay, the passage provides information on each of the following except. So all of these are in the passage except. Let's start with A, when the pull theory originated. It originated when? Late 1800s. That's line six. So A is out of the running because we're looking for all the following except. B, the amount of water a tall tree can transport. It says it in the very beginning here. If you look at the first line, tall tree can transport 100 gallons of water. So right there, we can get rid of B. C, the significance of water's tensile strength. Yeah, it goes in depth about tensile strength means that molecules attach to molecules and they form this chain and they pull on each other and that's all mentioned in the middle of the passage. And then you know, go on to answer choice D, the role of the sun in the pull theory. Towards the end it says that the energy coming that allows the molecules to be pulled upwards comes from the evaporative power of the sun. So the sun obviously plays a role, so those are all out. What about E, the mechanism underlying water's tensile strength? Why does water have tensile strength. Why is it able to stick together? Well, we don't know from this passage. There's nowhere in here does it talk about that. It simply talks about as a result of its tensile strength, the sun is able to pull water up through a tree. So it doesn't talk about E, so that's the answer.